What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dabrunski here. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to take your theory crafting in Diablo 2 to the next freaking level. I'm going to run through the max roll build planner. Yes, you heard that correctly. Diablo 2 now has a freaking build planner. This is the coolest thing ever. And I'm going to have timestamps in the description below. So if you guys want to bounce back and forth between specific segments of the video, they're there for you guys to use. So please take advantage of them. And also a quick reminder for those that don't know, if you guys do enjoy my YouTube content, I do stream twice a week on Twitch. Got the link for my Twitch channel in the description below, Twitch slash Dabrunski125. So any follows over there on that platform would be very much appreciated. But guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you guys are going to do is head on over to the link that I have in the description below and sign in and make a max roll account. The reason why you want to do this is because you can save profiles and revisit them to edit later. So just an example showing you guys my different profiles. I have a whack load of druids. So anything from Fury, you know, 163 FCR Wind Druid, they're all here. And if I want to, I can load them to check them again. So it's definitely important to make an account. Now going over the equipment, just going to show you how to make a couple pieces of gear because you guys can tinker around and kind of make your own setup. I don't really need to go over everything. But you can adjust the character here, your level and difficulty here. All of your important attributes are here. And then you can select a mercenary as well from this drop down menu. So, Offensive Nightmare Mercenary. Now, to actually create gear, I'll show you how to make a helmet. So, just select on the helmet for the sorceress. And you can pick one of these tabs if you want crafted, set, unique, room words. So, let's just make a Shaco. Add a socket. And we'll add Istrium. That's how to add a unique. We'll add a rumored now. So click on the shield, great item. We'll go rumored. We'll scroll down to shields, spirit. We'll select the base monarch. Boom. Anything past that, you guys can figure out. Just toy around with your setup. To create anything in the inventory, same idea. Just click on the inventory block, great item, unique item, torch. And if you want to, you can select the different class. The same thing again, we'll create an anti charm. So again, if you want to, you can change these attributes. So let's just leave it perfect. Doesn't matter. And then let's create a small charm. Now this is really cool. You can duplicate these items. You don't have to go in and make them over and over again. So I'll do seven MF small charm. Now, if I want to just duplicate that, I'll keep clicking on this small charm of good luck. So that's a huge time saver. But as you're adding these different items to your character, your stat points will change here. So I'm going to fast forward to the end. I'll make an ultimate MF, like max MF setup or whatever, and I can show you guys how it'll change. But that's a basic run through of how to select different gear. Now the character selection screen, it's the same idea if you want to spec out a sorceress. So just blizzard, I don't know, however you would do a normal spec out, just something similar to this. And then your stat points are down here. So let's say 156 for Monarch Shield or Spirit Monarch Shield. Nothing in a Dexterity, nothing in Energy. All the remaining points into Vitality. And here is the calculation. So this is really cool. Let's just go back to the gear here for a second. So let's just add CTA. So Room Words, Call to Arm. We'll make it in a Crystal Sword. So there, battlers. Now, if you go back to calculations, you can actually activate that specific skill and then it'll show how your attributes and stats change. So down here, we have battle orders, currently level 10 based on the gear that we have. So this sorceress has 1,128 life. Let's activate battle orders, 1,683 life. And you'll notice that the res will change too as we change the gear. So just Really, really cool stuff. You can completely theory craft and literally design any character that you want. So I'll fast forward and show you what an end game setup would be like. So I've now completely kitted out my sorceress. I have an Isted Oculus, Ethereal Isted Scalders, Isted Shaco, a crazy 210-25 MF Caster Amulet, 40 MF Rings, Chance Guards, Gold Wrap, 50 MF War Travelers, then all 7 MF Small Charms with a Roderick Cube, 
And then the mercenary is using an Isted Ethereal Steel Skull, Isted Scalders, and Insight. So this nets me a total of 759% MF. Now, there's way more than just stacking MF, right? Like you can do max damage characters, uh, melee stuff. You could test out like Uber Tristram setups or different ideals. Like there's so many different combinations. And then again, going over like this skill activation thing. So we did activate battle orders for the offhand. Battle orders is active. So I now have 1703 life. I have, if I go back to the main hand, I have 11,500 blizzard damage. It shows my resistances over here. So this would be like a pure ancient tunnels running setup. Like the res is a little bit poor, right? So again, you can kind of tail around. Like the purpose of this was just to show off like the best possible character that you could really make for MF. But the potential for this, it's just, it really is limitless. Like what the Maxwell team has done is freaking amazing. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this video again i have the max roll discord and everything else linked in the description below so if you want to join the discord you know sign in check out this website or whatever uh just do it man they put in so much work to make this build planner useful so hopefully you guys really enjoy it but that pretty much wraps up this video today so if you guys could throw a like on it uh share it and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel i post new weekly content on youtube and i do stream twice a week on twitch so any follows on twitch or subs on youtube would be amazing other than that, guys, I hope you have a fan-frickin-tastic day, and I'll catch you on my next video or live stream. Peace out.